The members of the Security Council held yesterday a VTC on the United Nations Organization Stabilization Mission in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, with the participation of the Special Representative of the Secretary General, Leila Zerugi. They recognized the peaceful political and security situation in most parts of the country. They welcomed the concrete steps taken by the government to work with MONUSCO to agree on a joint strategy for the mission's transition in accordance with the Security Council Resolution 2502. They expressed concern, however, at the de deterioration of the security and human rights situation in the east of the country. They called for further political engagement and uh, socio-economic efforts to address the uh, root causes of conflict in these regions including by developing a coordinated and coherent national framework for disarmament, demobilization and reintegration, and by addressing human rights abuses and violations. They further called uh, on all Congolese stakeholders to work together to continue laying the foundations for peace, stability and sustainable development. They recalled that the elimination of the threat posed by armed groups requires an integrated regional approach and strong political engagement by the governments of DRC and the region. They further expressed concern uh, at the current humanitarian situation, compounded by the outbreaks of COVID-19 and Ebola, and welcomed the efforts of the government with the support of international partners in tackling these challenges. They welcomed the recent uh, engagement by the government to work with MINUSCO to agree on a joint strategy for the mission's transition. They called on the mission to further improve its overall efficiency, including that of the Force Intervention Brigade, in accordance with Resolution 2502. They requested the UN to continue to take all appropriate measures uh, to review and enhance the safety and security of MINUSCO personnel including by improving, where necessary, the mission's information acquisition and analysis capacities, including surveillance and monitoring capacities, within the limits of its mandate and area of operation, and in line with Resolution 2518. They reaffirmed their support to the sovereignty, territorial integrity, and political independence of the DRC, and reiterated their call on, in, on the international community for capacity building and support to the DRC government. Thank you for your attention.